All right, welcome back to Trimble Tech. In this video, we're gonna show you how to install Kali Linux the quickest way. Kali Linux is the tool of choice for penetration testing. Let's get started. So I'm gonna go to osboxes.org. This is a really good website. It's got virtual machines already built out, right? That's what is really awesome about this. So I'm going to show you how to download it. So stick around and let's do the entire install of Kali Linux. So as you see there, you've got virtual box images and you also have VMware images, right? So all we can do is just go to Kali and your search here, and that's going to take us to our download, right? I'm going to be able to choose the latest version and I'm going to choose the virtual box version. Now, one thing to note is you see you've got virtual box, you've got the 32 bit installs, and you've got the 64 bit. Grab the 64 bit. And then under information, you're going to see that you've got a default username of OS boxes and then osboxes.org. And the nice thing about this is that the guest tools are already installed. So that's going to let us support. Uh, bridged networking, copying and pasting, shared folders, resizing the screen, and the screen will dynamically resize. So I'm gonna go ahead and start the download. And once this is done, I'll be back. Okay, so my download is done and I have extracted it. You see I've got my Calilix 2022.3 VDI. So let's go ahead and get this inside of VirtualBox. So I'm gonna load up VirtualBox here and I am going to minimize this. Let's get my VirtualBox moved over here. And let's go ahead and go to new. And I'm going to call this one Kali Linux. It's, and you choose where you want to install your VM. Let's go ahead and see what we got here. We'll see. We'll say type is Linux version Linux 2.6. Let's call it to 22.3. And you see how it tries to automatically complete that. If it does, go ahead and change yours back. Let's go ahead and click on um, expert mode since we're going to be experts here. And you see how it erased me? That is annoying, but we can put it back 22.3, type Linux, Linux 2.6, 64 bit. For our RAM, um, choose as much RAM as you can afford. I've got 64 gigs in this machine, so I'm going to allocate. Let's say eight gigs of RAM should be enough for this virtual machine. Now that this is important, right? If you downloaded the file and you're following the instructions, you're going to use an existing virtual hard disk file. So you're going to select this option and you're going to click on add. And I'm going to go to my computer and I'm going to in downloads. Mine was in the 64 bit folder here, All right? So here is my machine. I'm going to say choose you see that it's about 14 gigs, right? It's not attached. The virtual size is about 500 gigs. Don't, don't worry if you don't have the space, it'll allocate it dynamically. Go ahead and click on choose and let's go ahead and click on create. And this should be uh, pretty quick here. So I'm gonna go ahead and go to settings. And we're gonna adjust a couple things here to make our quality of life that much better here. So for processor, definitely recommend you have at least two on your display. You can go ahead and uh, crank this up to 128 megs. All right. Um, I normally disable audio because I don't really do any audio on my machines, right? I'm just trying to free up some extra resources here. Uh, when it comes to network, by default, it's going to put your uh, device on a net network. I like to keep mine, um, you know, for my training, I like to have my own network. You can keep it on that or you can do a bridge network as well. This is going to use your 
ethernet device right or your Wi-Fi you can always change it you know if it doesn't work or if you got more than one that's good we're gonna keep the rest of those default here if you want multiple ne networks you can do that as well but I'm gonna keep mine as uh, bridged for now all right we're not gonna worry about serial port we can keep that as uh, default and then for shared folders what I like to do is I like to create a shared folder and map it to my downloads location and have it be auto mounted every time the machine uh, starts up all right and then under um, let me see I believe it's under maybe it's machine one of these is our um, let's see one of these will give us our uh, copy and paste though no, right there is right in front of me yeah shared folders is turned on shared clipboard is turned on and then drag and drop is turned on so you can do all of this from your host machine to your guest machine all right I think we are okay uh, don't worry if uh, you you could always change it right if you need to but let's go ahead and start this machine and you see here we go it is starting up here now it might be a uh, small at first right but uh, we can always resize it here and don't forget if you were downloading it OS boxes and then OS boxes.org for your login and then here you go you have a fully functioning Kali Linux machine in less than 10 minutes you can't beat that and you see here the a screen dynamically resizes here I'm gonna make it uh, full screen here all right and we can go ahead and change uh, some of the elements to make it appear you know a little bit better here so let's go to I think it's display or let's go to yeah, settings or display let's see display here we go and you see here's my resolution here we can change it to 1920 by 1080 apply we can keep this configuration here or we can restore the previous one but what we can do is we can change the scale let's make the scale a little bit bigger oh no no that is a revert abort abort revert revert so that was totally the opposite oh let's try oh you know what we can do we can go to uh we we can go to machine and change it here here we go virtual screen resize to 1920 by 1080 let's see what this one does there we go yeah that's a lot better apply keep this configuration i'm going to close that one All right let's see if i have internet connectivity let's go to google fantastic and the first thing you want to do right whenever you get in here is you want to you know do your apt update so let's go ahead and do that so let's do sudo apt update and then dash y type in your password and keep going here and as you see it is updating Right. And let's go back and change our screen back to. Let's try this. Ooh, that's a little too small for me. Let's do. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Now we're cooking. So again, I just did sudo apt update dash y, and we are good okay so that is how you install Kali right uh, one thing you might want to do is since this is um, you know the OS box is by default you don't want to do that one we can go to maybe it's preferences or users yeah they, they keep changing it on me let's go to oh settings is right there and then under settings Workspaces, panel. Let's see. I'm looking for my users. 
If not, we can always do it from the command line. So let's see, let's go to... No? Okay. Tech settings, panel, accessibility. No, nope, don't want that. Notifications, panel, quick time, windows manager. Alright, I'll just do it from the command line. Let's just do user add Ian. Oh, sudo user add Ian. Alright, and now um, I'm, not gonna, I'm gonna make a new password for Ian. Let me do sudo password Ian. So I have now made myself a user. I'm gonna log in. Who am I? Ian. All right. So that is a quick tutorial in getting Kali Linux up and running. Uh, we are good. We've got full screen. We've got a dynamic resolution. If I go to home, you see I've got my mapped drive to my downloads folder here. So we are rocking and rolling. All right, everyone. If you like this, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more, hit that subscribe button at the top. And I will see you in the next one. Peace. Bye.